Global markets continue their slide. Asian stocks finished mostly lower overnight after a rough end to the week on Wall Street on Friday. The markets have really been all over the place lately. Yeah, we're asking, what does that mean for you? Gary Abelie from the Certified Financial Group is going to join us live right now to talk more about that. Gary, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. So how should you react, if at all, when you're watching this slow slide? Well, we have to keep things into perspective. Uh, volatility is always with us with the stock market. And we have to think volatility tends to uh, be more apparent to us when the market is going down than when the market is going up. So for example, a lot of us will remember back in 2009, the Dow was around 6,000, and today it's around 16,000. So we've risen 10,000 points, but uh, just recently we're down about 8%. So that gets our attention much more so. Yeah, sure, you look at your 401k and you start to panic a little bit. Gary, exactly. does it really depend on your age, uh, on what you should do? Because what, what advice would you give a, a 30 or 40 something versus somebody who's very close to retirement about what they should do with their money? That's a great question. So as a general rule of thumb, we like to say 110 less your age is a good percentage to have in equity mutual funds. So for example, a 90-year-old shouldn't have more than 20%, perhaps, but a 20-year-old should have about 90% of their money in equity mutual funds. Now you have to adjust that based upon somebody's risk tolerance. The other thing that uh, we like to stress is because the market has been so strong over the last six years, a lot of people are making a big mistake by not rebalancing their portfolio. So they've seen their equity portfolio go up and up and up, but yet they've not sold some of the equities to buy some of the fixed income to put that back into a percentage that would be more appropriate for their risk tolerance. So when you say that, that's why it's so important to have a good advisor who can kind of help you through this process because most people, if you're busy, you've got your all these other things going on, you're not able to sit and look at it and say, okay, what should I be doing now? That's exactly right. And you know, if you think back uh, 20, 30 years ago, in the news media, you might have heard one segment, you know, in other news today, the stock market did X, and there was one sentence devoted to it. Well, today, of course, we have whole programs, 24-hour day coverage of stock markets, you know, what happened in Asia, as you mentioned, at the open uh, overnight, and so we really can't get away from it today, and so it's on our minds a lot more. So it makes it appear as though we're more volatile when in fact the market isn't more volatile for the most part. Right, I gotcha. All right, great advice for all of our viewers. Gary Abley from Certified Financial Group. Thanks to see you. Great to see you, Gary. Thank